What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Magic the Gathering online internet cube draft by Magic Johnson. I'll be playing the role of Magic Johnson today. Actually, I don't know if that's such a good idea. I just fixed the chat, so literally your message is perfectly timed, but also imperfectly timed as well, so, you know, there you go. There you go. Let's do it. Let's see what we got here. Archangel of Thune. Uh, Kithian. I really don't like the righteousnesses in here. I can't. Maybe there's some kind of cool combo with righteousness, but, like, I can't imagine the situation where you're like, I'll block your creature, and then I'll give it plus seven, plus seven. And so it's like... I think I kind of want to try this plow under here. I think my first pick is plow under and my second pick is counter spell. I'm going to go with plow, plow under. We should do a white border step. That's actually a good idea. I wonder if there's enough white bordered cards. God, there sure are a lot. I don't know if there's enough, but there sure are a lot. So I pulled the trigger and got a new TV yesterday. I didn't, I didn't, it, it, well, it's not here yet, but I, I did, I did order it from, uh, I went to Samsung. Samsung was having a pretty good sale, apparently. And uh, I applied for some Samsung credit and they were like, here you go, here's some Samsung credit. And I was like, cool. So I was just like, eh, this is easier than paying everything at once. So, I mean, I could have put it on my regular credit card, but obviously I'd rather just, uh, Samsung credit's no interest. So I was like, cool I'll just make payments on that that's no big deal um and uh, I got the Q6FN so a little bit more than I wanted to spend but I also don't it's something that like it's a big purchase so whatever <sighs> see like in here there's no there's no oh there's a curd ape so we'd have to take a curd ape I like Genesis Hydra. If we're already, if we're all on the plow under, I think I just want the Genesis Hydra. Worth noting, we could have Counterspell and Mana Leak. I feel like I take significantly longer on these picks in this cube. I don't think I've ever taken this long for the picks, where I almost go to time for a lot of the, a lot of the picks, just because I'm like, it's really hard to evaluate all these cards. Oh, Water Sports Drew. Where were you yesterday? Unbelievable. Uh, Wild Growth seems pretty great here. If we're ramping into both of these things. Icy Manipulator also seems very, very good. What if I, we take the Icy... Will the Wild Growth come back? Probably just taking the Icy, right? Yeah, that seems insane. Sky Scanner was in a... Yeah, Sky Scanner is an M19 card. Shut up! What just happened? One, one, nine hundred of a T. Actually, the TV was, uh, 1300, 1200, 1299. So 1300. So you actually, it's, it's actually one thirteen, thirteen hundredth of a TV buck. Appreciated nonetheless, though. Uh, Warhammer or Rex Sage? Ooh, I don't know. Probably Warhammer. If I'm playing a big, dirtily green deck, it's probably a Warhammer, right? Mm, yeah, we're gonna go Warhammer. So that's not generally good by the way, but at least uh, for Sony 900 EF series, it's pretty close. So how dare you? First off, how dare you? Um, I'll just link, I'm gonna link to the new TV, so you guys can, so you guys can judge me. This is my, this is what I picked out. I agree. the The original Ice Yard is definitely my favorite, um, by a by a sizable margin. All right, equilibrium. We don't have a second color yet. God, that seems so busted. Equilibrium seems broken. Arbor Elf seems very good too. Did you hammer smash your TV? No, not yet. Uh, I was considering selling it instead. I felt like that was more uh, economically viable for me. Economically, uh, uh, fiscal, fiscal uh, responsible. Economically responsible for me, but uh, I'm not sure. Can I come watch your TV? I want to see how cool. Yeah, definitely. Come on over. But for real, yeah, definitely. You can come hang out. Equilibrium does seem busted. 
I'm going to equilibrium. And it's a, a four spike in here. What if we spell twine and then we can cast our plow under again? I'm going to do that. This deck's going to be cool. Elvish Pipper. Elvish Pipper and Quicksilver Amulet in the same pack are pretty funny. Oh, no, I only hit my face in the hammer. I only hit my face accidentally with the hammer. Um, So they're... I think it's probably Piper. Ranger's Guile, I guess that's fine. Soul of Chandelier is also pretty good. Yeah, I think this is better than than Ranger's Guile. Plus, we're not sure we're blue yet. Oh, sick, Billy! That's awesome, dude. I'm looking forward to it. This seems excellent. Uh, gather the pack. Gather some snacks. Root counter, create a one one, like one one, I'm gonna get it. I wanna take this because it's colorless. I don't care about gather the pack that much. I'm watching you from the Tesla, I'm testing how that's awesome, dude. <laughs> that's so gas, dude. Oh man. This is uh so funny story, this is my first time being in a Tesla. <laughs> that's sad. I just made myself sad. I'm gonna take this rabid BT. Shut up and take my money. One Valley Man hype bug. I the funny thing is I still have candy from Kurt that I have not even even tried yet. I still have to try it. Shannon Alar is pretty good. Um yeah, we'll just take the Chandra. Uh Tauran's invocation. Yeah, sure. I still think we're... I'd rather be blue than red here, but I'm going to take the good red cards just in case to try and hedge. Eh, sure. Also, the green kind of dried up a little bit. Have you seen the Disney celebration for the employees of the fireworks? Or anything? No, I have, I have not, but I, I know that's a thing. I had an ex-girlfriend whose aunt worked at Disney, and she could like get us in all the time. It was pretty sick. She was like a silver cast member. Oh, I like this Tezzeret a lot, especially with oh, especially with multiple artifacts. Oh, I think it's yeah, I think we're taking this Tezzeret here. What would you do if I just showed up your house on Friday, looked at your TV, and then flew back to Seattle? I would be I actually don't think I'd be as surprised as um as you might think. That 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 seems like a very Kerwit thing to do. But the uh, problem is the the TV will likely not be here on Friday. So you probably want to wait to do those kind of shenanigans. Until... It's just monohydros.deck. Yeah, we're just going to be hydros.deck. Oh, Gilded Lotus is perfect for what we want here. I also like Leaf Gilder. So much guild here. This is a lot of... This is a very gilded pack. However, if Leaf Gilder or Silk Clash Spider come back, I will be very grateful. I'm going to take this because we got a lot of a lot of mana requirements here. Sigh. Shut up and take my money. What happened? Five Kerwin is the OG hype bucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, don't encourage him. Don't encourage him. I could see playing side, but the problem is like a lot of times you're not casting the artifacts, right? Like Tezzeret putting the I wish this was whenever an artifact enters the battlefield under your control. Like it's funny because it has less synergy than it should with this with this set. I think it's still a pick, it's still a one four, it still tr triggers a bunch so far. Is this whenever a creature enters everyone you cast a creature spell? Okay, so. That's something, I guess. Essence scatter is nice. Uh, don't care about joiner adept. You're not. You're not actually ramping us. You're just kind of 
yeah, I probably just want the Essence Scatter. In a deck like this, you really don't have that many ways to... Uh, to stop creatures. Treetop Bracers! At the beginning of each player's upkeep, the player returns a creature they control to its owner's hand. I probably just want Storm Child Leviathan. I like Prodigious Growth a lot, but... I'd rather just have a creature than something to put on a creature. It's not like an Amazon. <laughs> oh, Soul of Zendikar. Creating Beasts. That's not bad. It's definitely better than this. All right, so we're just going to... We definitely need some early ramp here. Frost links, eh, it's not a. It's not a terrible option if we just want to hold some guys down or put a Loxon Warhammer on it. However, this pack is no bueno. I guess we'll take Enthralling Victor. I don't know. We should make a deck that just copies everything, like from scratch. Or in cube. I don't know if there's enough things to do that. Either. Okay, <laughs> so you're like, eh, I don't really care, as long as we get it done. I want to reverberate uh, Plow Under and then just put like four of their lands on top of their library. I feel like you pretty much concede at that point, right? If we're on the play and we can go like turn four plow under, it's pretty bonkers. Fauna Shaman? Oh, Ambassador Laquatus. Ambassador Laquatus is interesting because it's, in and of itself, it's just like the perfect mill card. It's just like, well, you're milling one card per mana, so you can sink nine into it, mill them for nine. Fauna Shaman also pretty good, especially when we have a bunch of these big creatures. I think we're just going to go with Fauna Shaman here. I'd rather have another two drop. And if I if I get like a... Oh, yes, the Silk Clash Spider came back. This is only five drop, too. That's nice. Um, all right. Uh, Skin Shifter is actually just fine. And now we know how it works. So that's good. Brian, what's going on? I did mean to give you a call. I've just I've been a little busy. I got back from BlizzCon. I just haven't had a minute. I'm sorry, buddy. I do want to talk to you, though, because uh, I'm very curious as to what's going on. Wow. All right. Prodigious Growth came back. That was the card we wanted to see. Yeah, I don't think I care about Talran's Invocation. Elvish Piper is also very, very good with things like Pentavis and Stormtide Leviathan and Soul of Zendikar. So that's pretty cool. Not great with Hydras, obviously, but, uh... Oh, Reverberate on Soren's Vengeance seems utterly insane. Because yours would resolve first, so then if it kills them, it kills them. That's pretty sick. Oh, Jace Vryn's Prodigy. That seems really high power level in this cube. Oh, yeah, we're definitely taking the Jace here. That's gas. That's, like, the perfect. Did Twitch give you your money? Or did... Um, so, I actually... I messaged them. I emailed today. Or yesterday. I emailed, like, it was yesterday or the day before. And I was like, all right, let's do this as soon as possible. And they said... That's awesome. Congratulations. I'm very happy to pass along to my colleagues for final review. Depending on the current volume of requests, it may take a little while, but someone should be in contact with you once they've done so. And I was like, sweet. That's awesome. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's Cultivate here. I like Gift of Paradise. If Gift comes back, that'd be great, but I definitely want to be able to ramp. So I'd also like one two drop uh, rampy creature. I'll take a one drop rampy creature too, but those are less uh, 
Was BlizzCon really disappointing as everyone was making out to it? Um, no, BlizzCon wasn't disappointing at all. People just were disappointed with the Blizzard announcement, or the, the Diablo announcement. That's literally the only thing that was disappointing about it. And I wasn't, I don't even personally think it was disappointing. I'm just saying that that was the one thing that everyone else thought was disappointing. Or seemed to. I like Druid better than Ranger. Druid ramps, Ranger don't. Yeah, trust me. If uh, if you were going to be denied because of funny costumes or something, I would not be the... Um, I would not be at the top of that list to get denied. I think I have... Well, I think I have one of the least uh, disturbing streams that you could have. Billy, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Forrest actually said, once I get home from Disney, I will resub. So, um, Forrest, feel free to uh, to just continue the gifted sub. Oh, man. I like Hydra, especially because it continues our Hydra theme. But I also like Fertilid Ground. AKA Mike Mike B's meme. Your stream traumatizes me horribly every day. Yeah, but that's intentional. Also, this guy doubles the counters on all yeah, we're definitely taking this. It doubles the counters on all creatures, right? Double the number of fun counters each creature you control? Oh, yeah. So it's just better that with all of these. That's insane. He has channeled Lady because in Red Dead Redemption 2, he fed a feminist to alligators. And I, don't, I don't understand what that means. I don't understand. How, did, how would he do that? I guess I'm just missing the context. Uh, you may cast green spears as a had had flash. That's actually pretty good. Uh, three, four other elves. Yeah, I don't care about. I don't have elf themes here. I don't care about quickling that much. Memory lapse is fine. Verdant Haven is good. I think it's actually probably Verdant Haven here. Nope. Took the took the uh, overgrowth. Oh, overgrowth is insane, right? It adds three instead of two. So it's actually just a better... Yeah, that card's great. Okay, Phantasm Image is also very good, but I think I just want the ramp here. I don't think we care about Psy in this deck. Great Sable Stag we can board in. We can board in Spider. Don't care about this. I did pass the hurricane, but we already have Silklash Spider, which is basically a hurricane on a stick. Wow, Soul of Ravnica. Boy, all the souls. Triskelion, also very good with uh, Colonian Hydra. That's interesting. Yeah, Vili, I feel the same way, actually. I was thinking the same thing. I was like, I didn't know how I'd, think, how I'd feel about it at first, but I'm actually very okay with it. Um, there's a lot of different archetypes. The cards are uh, a lot more powerful than I expected them to be. So, yeah, I'm gonna take this just because it goes well with uh, Dark Steel Colossus. What? Here's Soren's Vengeance. Speak of the devil. I like Naturalists here because we don't have that kind of effect, and I would like to have that kind of effect. Uh, nothing in here is good. I'm gonna take Tendrils, I guess. This gives trample. Could make it relevant. In the game, um, I mean, you probably shouldn't be doing that. And also, like, that's really kind of a disturbing thing to do. Wow, Might Evokes came back? Deadly Recluse. Dwayne Cave. Verdant Haven. Wow, we got the Verdant Haven and the uh, Gift of Paradise. Gift of Paradise is gain three, add two mana. This is gain two, add one mana of any color. Sure.
All right, so I don't think we need spell twine. We actually don't have that many instants. So we'd probably just be copying one. And now we need one more cut. Genesis Hydra says what? When you cast a real time X-Cards, you're going to put them in that land for an SX one. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> uh, Stormtide is somewhat expensive, but we also have Gilded Lotus, Cultivate, Overgrowth, and Druid of the Cowl. Plus, we can also put it into play with Elvish Piper, so I'm not super concerned with that. I think it's also very, very good if we can just... Uh, if, you have, if you're able to land a Stormtide Leviathan, you should probably win. Oh, we can take out the frog. I don't want to go to 13 creatures, though, is the problem. I think we just run it like this. Maybe we play 41. Uh, let's go 7-9. Oh, 8-9. Yeah, we'll just do 8-9. We'll do 41. This is actually fine. This is great. I'm gonna keep this because of the overgrowth. So if we hit any green source, we can play overgrowth on three, which gives us what? A million manner. <laughs> My favorite and only streamer. I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. Looking for some hot stuff. Yeah, Icy is always very, very good. The fact that you can just it's like um, one mana to lock down pretty much any permanent type is pretty strong. I will keep this hand. We already said that. Oh, come on, one time. Give me that forest one time. Give me that forest one time. I has a sadness. What? When did that? Where did that quote even come from? <laughs> oh, this is bad. I mean, if we hit a forest, we're good. Otherwise, we're bad. Oh boy. Well, we have all the blue required for Stormtide Leviathan, so that's nice. Also, if now if we hit a forest, we can put it on an island and we can play Druid of the Cowl as well. So. one time forest off the top we're still all right we're still in it to win it okay it's worse now let's get rid of this rapid bite because once we start once we get a green source we are way way ahead that's not true Yes. 
Boom, 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 boom. Why do I have this song stuck in my head? Nobody knows. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven mana now. Next turn we get eight mana if we get to uh, hit a land. So we just storm tide the land. They have eight cards in hand though. Nine cards in hand. I can switch it for you. Switch what? What's going on? Oh, I see. You're switching the song. Well, that's something, isn't it? Wow, that was just rude. Party chasers in the house tonight. It worked. It surprisingly worked. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can do this for five. That'd be pretty cool. Come on, Tezzeret. Oh, this is not this is not Genesis Hydra, this is the other Hydra. They're deciding which counter they want to use. It's hard. It's a hard decision. There you go, they figured it out. There you go, just use the old one. God, I was hoping it was Genesis Hydra. What I got seven mana? One more land we can storm tide Leviathan. That's a real thing. They have eight cards though. Good lord. <laughs> this is why people hate control players. Yeah, you're right. Return an instant card from your graveyard to your hand. Cool. All right, so we know they have a counter spell, I guess. I get, I guess. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight mana, huh? Well, I guess they're gonna let us draw a card. This is a significant amount of cards for Jace to be drawing. This is the bait. And this gets countered, which is fine. We still get a, a guy out of the graveyard. Not a super impressive guy, but... I'll have the regular counter spell. Oh, cheers, lad. Here you go. Enjoy. What just happened? Cast counter. Yeah, nothing. Okay. Just going to F6 here. We could discard Pentavis for something like, uh, well, I guess nothing really. I guess we just play the Pentavis. <laughs> well, that's just rude. They also have Bogarden, Hammer of Bogarden in the graveyard, which is pretty strong against a lot of things. Uh, was it the forest? Let me find it. Oh, I think I did. I think, yeah, because you were... Wait, oh. Wait, what? Did, is this theirs? Do they have their own? Yikes. Yikes. Can I draw mine? That'd be cool. No? Okay. Well, I tried. Oh, that your mom's a prostitute. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> that was a little, that was a classic. So I want to play this and then attack with this guy. And then just uh, double the number of counters because that sounds cool to me. Uh, 
Uh, I'm not attacking. Thank you, Magic. I appreciate the offer, but I'm good. This Jace has been around for so long. Oh my god, Forrest, dude, be careful, buddy. Please don't die on the interstate because of uh because of my stream. I don't I don't think I could handle that. Oh boy. Oh, that's pretty good. Yer, thanks so much for the re for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. They have seven cards in hand. Yikes! Their deck seems great. I hope they don't have any answer for this whatsoever. It's gonna be Fireball. Oh, Platy. Platosaurus Rex. Oh, that's a good dude. So we're definitely playing one of these. Probably the Genesis Hider for like a million, right? Click OK to continue. OK. Oh, it's got to be a permanent, huh? Well, that's unfortunate. Hmm. I guess it's probably Warhammer here. Let's attack Tezzeret, I guess. And four. I probably just want to tap you. So even if they block with the two tokens, they still lose their Tezzeret. So they kind of have to block a Platinum Angel if they want to keep Tezzeret. Does not seem like they do. All right. That's okay. I'm actually surprised. How do I? Thanks so much for the resub. Welcome back. Hope you get a W today. I hope I get a W as well. Hope I get a W in Florida as well, because that would be sweet. Also, putting this on here seems pretty good. When do you block with plat? Probably never. I don't think I care about that. I have to, they have to have like evacuation, right? We just have to figure out how to beat the Platinum Angel. We have the uh, the the one dudes in the sideboard. What do you call them? You know the dudes. Uh, one, two, three, four, six, seven, nine, ten. This costs three. This costs seven.
<sighs> I have a feeling they have something here. Yep, that's what I was afraid of. Four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have 13 mana. So we could play this for 7, equip for 3, and then we have 3 left over. Not great. Sure, that's actually fine. So we're going to have Psy and the Angel in hand. Pretty sure those are the only things we know about. Yep, there's one. And then I play Platinum Angel and make a guy. One. Or this actually almost taps them out, which is super nice. Yep. Okay. So plus Jace. Nope. Negative Jace. Okay. Sure. Um, yeah, let's just do this again. Uh, actually, we'll pay one less. I, I want to tap one of these guys down because I didn't want to kill their Jays. Party Hydra's in the house tonight. Oh. Oh man. If we equilibrium, can they win? Oh my god, this is actually very, very good. Triskelion, we get to double the counters every single turn. No, it enters the battlefield with that many counters. No, that's not correct. No, it, yeah, it does. Yeah, because it would go to six. However, I mean, it's easier for them to deal with a creature than it is for them to deal with an equilibrium. My concern is running out of creatures to cast with equilibrium. Jared, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Tequila luck. <laughs> oh, this is a hard decision. Uh, we have 18, they have 14, so we're actually way ahead.
I do want to gain life here, though. I think. I don't think it matters. Maybe not. Also, the spell just has to be cast. It doesn't actually have to be... Um I do want to kill this Jace. I mean, they do have Hammer of Bogarden, so they could attack us for one next turn with a Thopter. They can hammer us for three. I mean, if they counter Fauna Shaman, it's totally fine. The relevant spells have been have been cast. Yes, I will. That is a lot of counters on the guys. That is a lot of counters on my dudes. This is how counters work. Your Jason is going to the trash can. Our deck is uh, performing admirably, I might say. Big boy Hydra's in the house tonight. <laughs> oh, good times. Ugh. Oh, opportunity, huh? Well, that's six mana. I mean, I'm probably just tapping something down before combat because I don't feel like taking an extra two here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or extra one, rather. Uh, you know what? Most of the spells you can you have will deal seven or eight anyway. I don't I don't think we're like safe just because we take one extra point or don't take one extra point. Yeah, this is whatever. If this maker makes makes or breaks the game, I will uh. I'll be surprised. I mean, if they do have, like, Incinerate, Hammer of Bogarden, we're dead. Which is... We know they have Hammer. We also know there's an evacuation in the deck somewhere, so. Is the sphere thing in the Art of Icy the manipulator or the thing being manipulated? Uh, I think it is the manipulator. They did not play Platinum Angel. That's fascinating. So I'm assuming that they have 100% evacuation. They also have to discard to like a million cards. Peak. Sure. Oh, 
They should know uh, Stormtide and the other guy. Stormtide and the other guy is the name of my buddy cop show, actually. Stormtide and the other guy. One is a Leviathan. The other is a Construct. Always better to manipulate sooner than manipulate later. <laughs> I agree. That's my strategy. It's my life strategy. What is... I mean, Equilibrium is nice here because it does let us... Yeah, I had a feeling. I had a feeling. Is there anything better we can do here? God, I would really, I would really love. A counter spell. Attempt to just generous is harder for a million here. We get to probably look at our whole deck, right? <laughs> Uh, one, two, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 mana. So this is 5. We could do this for 6. That's good enough for me, I think. Oh, that's the Tesseract we wanted. This game is great. Oh, they also have 10 minutes to our 15 minutes, which is nice. So... Yeah. Alright, well, I mean, I guess they just kill us now if they have a second... Uh, I don't know why they didn't do this last turn unless they literally just drew the second burn spell. Okay, well, that like, puts us to one. Guess we should have gained life sooner. <laughs> Fantastic. Always a pleasure, Magic Online. Cool. Okay, well, that was nice. Let's bring in Naturalist. Icy didn't really do that much. Silk Clash Spider seems great here. I like this better than Piper, just because it's more expensive, but they have fewer ways to deal with it. A 1-1 one, one is pretty sensitive here. Let's take out the Frost Lynx, bring in, like, Verdant Gift of Paradise seems probably better. Excuse me.
Yeah, I'm wondering if we should have instead of bouncing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we should just gain the life instead of bouncing the guy. I feel like that was probably uh, the relevant misplay. I mean, we also didn't think they had like Triskelion and five points of burn. We knew they had a Hammer of a Garden somewhere. But, yeah, what can you do? They actually didn't even need to shock us. They could have just played Triskelion and dealt us the other three. So. The sand seam is great. This into this. I mean, presuming we can hit a third land uh, with a Jace. Oh, and then into this. Nasty. Hmm. Are you countering my cultivate? No. Okay. Seems good. One of these and one of these. Gilded Lotus next turn, being able to keep up Essence Scatter seems very strong. I hope you play a Rupture Spire. Dang it. Yeah, that's totally fine. I guess we'll I guess we'll search here. We have no reason not to. Plus we can get a better thing to hit. We can also just put this in the graveyard and make it 3-3. Three, three. Oh, that's definitely better. Two seven seems really hard for them to deal with. Gotta get in there. And uh, get her done. Guess we'll attack here. I don't foresee them having anything with haste. Oh my god, dude. Come on. We want to flip this guy as soon as we can because obvious reasons. The obvious reason being that if they get equilibrium out, they can just start bouncing Jace. Like, we can just flip it and now it's Planeswalker. 
How does this cube feel? Pretty good. I'm enjoying it so far. More than I thought I would. For sure. Ooh, no plays. Fascinating. I mean, they can't really play any flyers, so that's pretty cool. I don't know if I want to run a primordial, primordial Hydra out here, especially because if they play any creature, it just comes right back. Maybe I do, though. Hold on, my mouse died. I have to put my mouse in. Got to plug the old mouse arena in. Uh, how do you work? Yeah, there we go. All right. Resolves. All right. So now, if you play a guy, if you play a guy and bounce this, that's fine because that means the still clash spider does not go away. Opportunity. You got it. My girlfriend has a seven bud. She costs more than five mana though, if you know what I mean. Wow. Wow. Do I care about this guy? Probably because it kills our Triskelion on the spot. Actually, no, it doesn't. We just shoot the Triskelion. Or we shoot the Grimlovomancer. That's actually fine. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, gutter snipe. Uh, probably countering this gutter snipe. It probably it's it seems like one of the few ways we're probably gonna lose this game. That's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm just gonna make it as big as possible because I want to. I want to maximize my chances of hitting like a Tezzeret or something. And um, we can't play Spider and this for any reasonable amount. Uh, Naturalists is pretty good because we can kill the Equilibrium. That's pretty gas. And we get a four-four out of it. Yeah, so they have to win this game and the next game in six minutes. Does not seem extremely likely, but uh, stranger things have happened. I would not be surprised if they're just like, let's go to the next game. Sunday, Monday, happy days. A Tuesday, Wednesday, happy days. They did not. Okay. Evacuation. Now we just get to Genesis Hydra again. That's pretty cool. What did they return? Opportunity. Okay. Well, that's that's cool. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, what what do we do if that's the one we want to hit? This seems good, right? S 
Du, 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 du. You got it. We get to draw two cards here. That's cool. Uh, we can also play this, and then it, they get two more shots so they can go shoot, shoot. Uh, which doesn't kill anything, which is probably the play. Um, and if they're going to, like, if we if we go to draw two, they could actually just shoot this in response. So I'm just going to play this guy. It still lets... <laughs> Well, isn't that special? Uh, I guess we're just going to play Parno Hydra here. 5-5, five, five, sure. So there's no way they could shoot us, right? They could deal us a point, but then they go to 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, this is fine. Yeah, and they're just going to shoot other things in the response. Shoot the Thopter. Shoot Jace. Yep, seems fine. So we got rid of it anyway. All right. Deal. And make a dude. Opportunity? Sure. I mean, this guy's lethal by himself. So. Pfft, my god, this deck is cool. Yeah. Ten, ten. Let's just draw two here. Um, I think you're dead. Oh, that'll do. All right, cool. Seems good. Lots of flying things. All right. I, mean, I like rabbit bite in here, but... I also like Icy in the deck. I don't know. Maybe we don't need all three of these. I don't know. The ramp is very good. I could see taking out the Leviathan. Not a ton of creatures, though. Oh my god, what even is this? I think this hand is definitely a keeper. Ideally, we can draw a Druid or a Jace for... No, that guy's obnoxious. Well, we got this late game on lockdown, at least. Come on, two drop. We have a bunch of two drops. Oh, man. Nailed it. They're going to counter this? Oh, that's fine. I mean, we have Soul Clash Spider, so. Wow. Look at this curve. One drop, two drop, three drop. I don't actually want to cultivate here because we can still play most things in our hand. 
Um, and having Yeva out next turn where we can... Uh, we can flash in a spider is pretty strong. Yep, this is pretty good. I might just want to actually play Spider now. Uh, it gets around Counterspell. Seems correct. Because, like, they can Evacuation, but eh, it's not great. That's actually great for us because we get to uh, pay six and deal four damage to each creature with flying. I'm going to go to the Cultivate because we already have six mana here. Like, that was a pretty sick that was a pretty sick opportunity if they want to block with gutter snipe and then shoot you yeah, i'm actually okay with that as well that takes so much damage off the board and they have two cards left yeah that's pretty good Shooting me. Okay. Sounds good. I feel like we are way ahead right now. That's definitely good, but... Do this for four. Primordial Hydra as a four four is pretty strong, but we have to assume they have evacuate now, right? So I'm just gonna put lethal on board. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, if they evacuate, we still get to play. I want to get this down because this does not get bounced with evacuate. Evacuation. Well, that is an annoying one. Five is the key because I think that's where you want to be in terms of like... Thank you. Mr. $10 Bill, thanks so much for the four months in a row. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Uh, I think we just want locks on Warhammer. No, I'm good. We really just want to keep pressure on and not let them actually deal us three, evacuate, deal us three, hammer a bogard and shock. Like, we just want to be able to dodge a bunch of those. Uh... Like, that's one of the only ways I think we, win we lose this game. 
Um, <laughs> this actually seems okay. We still have a five five. So they go to three here. They have nine mana, they could eight us and then deal, <laughs> okay. Well, that is a thing. That is a awesome thing. But I don't think you can actually do much otherwise, right? Okay, so that was like basically a nothing turn. Nexus of Fate was seven mana draw a card. Okay, sure. This is a match, man. This is a match. So yeah, girlfriend, we got back together, so I'm typing this from my bath. Do you only watch me when you're in a relationship from your bath? This is a very strange... Our relationship is very strange. Uh, yeah, da, 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 da. I like Amulet better than Piper, I think. Despite the cost, like, it's nice to not have... Naturalist might be an obvious inclusion in the deck. I think Naturalist is probably better than Frost Links. All right, let's try it again. Can I put a run of time and lose if they have Platinum Angel? Yes, yes, you can still run out of time because time is an external, an external construct. Something like that. I was watching YouTube and then realized you were streaming. I so consults because I have a bad back. Oh, act oh, that's actually really funny then. I just thought it was just this big meme. Like, hey, I'm watching you for like a romantic, like, hey, watching you from the bath. Like kind of like a funny meme, right? Uh, your, <laughs> your face is an external construct. That's fair. But it turns out you actually just realistically have a reason for watching from the bath. And that's actually kind of cool. Uh, yeah, we'll give this a go. Any one of our three, we have Cultivate, we have bug -a -bug -bug over Overgrowth, and we have the other one, so. My grandpa won on, won on horses last night, so I'm watching the stream from my treehouse. I don't understand what any of that means, but I appreciate it. I often watch while soaking in the tub, drinking wine. Don't, you don't even have a tub, I bet, you liar. Oh, Jace Vryn's Prodigy. I'm going to bite the schnickles out of this dude. Get bit on. Good old Schmittlebop. <laughs> oh my god. I have two tubs. There's one in each. How many bathrooms do you have? What? I thought you were like in college. Are you not in college? I'm going to discard Leviathan here 
and get something that's better suited for our uh, 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 maybe I get my own Jace yeah let's get our own Jace because we could get like uh, Druid of the Cow will play Druid this turn guarantee we hit a 5th land but Jace kind of does the same thing because look there's going to be an island right here see you know what I'm saying Oh, no, they can just counter it, huh? That seems sad. I guess they'll play Gilded Lotus here. Right? Let's play Colonian Hydra. I want them to... I'd rather them counter the Gilded Lotus, but I'd rather get the Daring Apprentice off the board. Yep, it's what I figured. Alan, aren't you also in Georgia? Georgia. Georgia. I like that we can just go get a spider here if we want to. Well, technically we can't, but. Because we need a creature in hand to search, but uh, we have a bunch of crap in our hand that we can just throw in the trash can. probably just going to get a little bit of Lotus here because I want to play Plow Under and then we can just play the land or discard it we could also go yeah we're definitely Plowing Under here Plowing Under your mum uh, actually I got rid of the Amulet oh we also have Plow Under next turn oh that's pretty gas Oh, we can Jason plow under again? Oh, God. Jace does die if we do this. Still seems good. <laughs> we just have to... If any creature, we can play anything else. Like, we can play... If we get a, any creature, we can turn it into a Silk Lash Spider or a Genesis Hydra or something, so... That's all fine. Essence Scatter, dang it. So we know the next two draws are, like, land, land... I almost think it's actually just better to play Genesis Hydra here. Or Spider, rather. This guy probably wins the game on its own, but... Uh, let's get a Silk Lash Spider. Where are you? Are you in the sideboard? Oh, boy. That's... Well, that's something, isn't it? Biscuits. Biscuits and gravy. I guess we'll get Genesis Hydra. Don't counter this. Oh. Oh, Icy Manipulator. That's gas. Yeah, Icy is significantly better when they have an Angel on board. Oh, the Icy resolved. Okay, everything resolved. 
Well, that's good stuff. I think we'll take four more damage here. I don't think going down to 12 is worth letting them resolve a potentially significant threat against us. discarding a creature here, so I might as well get in there for seven. All the mana in the world. Yeah, it's because a lot of times, um, what's the card called? Plow Under feels very similar to Armageddon. Like, it, it prevents you from playing the same game as your opponent, right? Like, your opponent goes five drop, six drop, seven drop, and then you go three drop, four drop again. And um, in that situation, you're, like, kind of playing a game that you can't win rather than just conceding on the spot. Yep. That's unfortunate, but it's life, I guess. You gotta go to the icy, right? Well, there you go. That's actually pretty good. They're at two, so both of these are lethal, which means they have to play a creature. Everix, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Thank you, thank you. Hydra's free permanent isn't cast, is it not? Oh. I thought it was cast. That's pretty good. Yep, no blocks. That'll do, I guess. Yeah, that's unfortunate. All right, well. I've been watching videos and love to discuss about Blizzard and their antics, but I'm sure you have people spamming you with comments. Uh, what? I mean, what antics, though? Oh my god, really? You play Wrath of God followed by a Talran's invocation. Jeez, oh, really? So we have to draw a creature next turn in order to survive, and then we have to draw another creature the turn after that. Yeah, this is rough. Not having a good time. Can you be a creature this time? Yeah, we're just going to counter this because they have one card. And uh, the idea of them getting a free spell off of that guy is pretty unappealing. Sure. Wow. Well, so Clash Spider should be in the main deck. I almost like Deadly Recluse here. It just blocks their... Is it 1-3 or 1-2? One 1-2. Two. One two. So it does die to 2-2s. Two 
but it does kill a <laughs> Sir Angel, which is pretty cool. Amulet can come out for an invocation. Stormtide Leviathan just doesn't really appeal to me for some reason. Everything else seems good. Maybe take out Gilded Lotus? That doesn't seem right. Maybe it's correct. Yeah, that seems fine. I think we got played. I think we got matched up against each other one time. I'm going to keep this in the hopes that we can hit one one forest. Because we still have equilibrium. Uh, so cringy. Come on, one time. Cultivate's also very good. No. Okay. Actually, forest next turn is good because we can go Druid of the Cow, bounce their Jace. Cultivate. Okay, well, okay, let's let me break this down. They are pandering to their shareholders of this mobile game, going after the broadest amount of people. Okay, A, they're a business, so going after the broadest amount of people is a great idea. If you appreciate Blizzard in any way, shape, or form, you want them to go after the broadest amount of people because that makes them the most money, which means they can make better games. Anyone who doesn't want a business to go after the broadest amount of business uh, doesn't appreciate that business, and they're being uh, the most selfish, selfish consumer that you can possibly be. Uh, they, they didn't slap any longtime fans in the face because just because they hired a mobile game company to make a mobile game, a mobile blizzard, does not mean that they are, are not also working on Diablo 4. These are not mutually exclusive things. They can both coexist at the same time. Just because you see a new game under a brand that you know does not mean it's the only game being made under that brand. It has nothing to do with the other. Um... I don't I, I I can't actually understand how they stopped listening to their fans just because they didn't have a Diablo 4 that was ready at at BlizzCon in 2018. I, I just don't think that says, "Hey, we stopped listening to you." It just doesn't make any sense. The only alternative is to force a Blizzard out or force the Diablo out and um just show something that isn't ready, which seems like an even greater disservice to their fans in my opinion. What fear do you have with Diablo 4 that they learn nothing from D3? Like, they haven't even shown you anything from D4. How would you ever have that fear? That doesn't even make any sense. That's like me being afraid that the next iteration of Magic Online is going to be just like Magic Online version 3.0. And I'm like, but I haven't seen anything from that new version of Magic Online. I don't even know if it exists. So how could you even fear that? It doesn't even make any sense. I think we actually have to ramp here. Like we don't have a, we don't have to play a land this turn. I do want to play Druid of the Cowl though, and bounce this Jace. Did they miss a land drop? No, we uh, we did the thing. Am I ever going to do another guild? I've done forty four, and they're all on my YouTube channel. So forty seven, something ridiculous. So I mean I'm I may, but I I, I don't foresee me doing another Guilds of Ravnica draft while Cube is up. Yeah, that Mildic was surprisingly good. All right, that's fine. Now I'm just gonna plow under you. Now I'm just gonna plow you under. Uh, if we take them off white, they have no white.
Yeah, I, I actually, I, I have actually not heard any criticism of Diablo three, um, other than the auction house. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure that was the primary issue that people had with Diablo three. Oh, Soul of Ravnica in the graveyard. That's nice. So Clash Spider gets to gets to do the deed here, which is kind of cool. Um, oh wow. Oh, I like naturalists killing. Oblivion Ring. That seems gas. I've actually... I've, been, I've played Diablo 1, 2, and 3, and, and PvP was never a huge part of the game for me. Like, the problem is, like, I think you have very specific, like, you know, obviously I don't mean this offensively in any way, shape, or form. I think you have very specific ideas of what Diablo should be. And I don't think that matches up with what a lot of people think it is. Like, I have a ton of people, I, I know a ton of people, I have a ton of friends who play Diablo. None of them really care about PvP. I mean, maybe hardcore fans do, but if Blizzard isn't appealing to hardcore fans, I think that's fine. Like, that's not a, that's not a huge deal, you know? Ever appreciate it, buddy. Uh, can you do a treasure chest opening? I've been really lucky with them lately. <laughs> I feel like you look at some, um. I don't have any treasure chests though. Is the problem? At least I don't think I do. I would love to, but I would have to have treasure chests. Yeah, I have none. Uh, let's open these guys. I'm gonna open all three of these packs and see what I get. Probably nothing. I think these are all Bishop of Rebirth. All right. Bloodbraid Elf and a Cataxian Probe. Good cards, but one is banned. And uh, all right, so they flip their Jace, and that's cool and all, but ain't nobody got time for that. Two, three, four, five. Let's play Spider. Bounce this guy. So, I mean, they could very easily have, like, Wrath of God here. Which would be a pretty, pretty big beating, but then we get to play Invocation, I guess. They could also Jason get Tower End's Invocation. I'm pretty sure there's going to Wrath of God here, and it's going to be absolutely disgusting. Yep, of course they are. Yep, that's pretty brutal. Yeah, there was a there was a twelve an eight year gap, twelve year gap, twelve year gap between D two and D three. Uh, D2 came out in uh, 2000. Diablo 3 came out in 2012. So there was a 12-year gap between those games. And there's only been six years since Diablo 3. So, like, I don't actually understand what people are getting all hyped up about. Like, hey, man, here's a new game that you guys can play if you'd like. You don't have to. And if you don't want to, it's not for you. But you can. Thank you. And that's that like I don't understand why people are so upset about it like I get that you want a certain thing but like is there is it any different from a child like really wanting something for Christmas and their parents being like hey that's coming we ordered that it's coming it's not here yet but in the meantime I got you this other thing and the kids are just like I didn't want that I wanted the other thing and you're like but it's we're still gonna do that it's still coming you're still gonna get that thing and then the kid just keeps getting upset and keeps yelling and screaming. You're just like, what's wrong with you? Why are you acting like this? Act like a goddamn adult. <laughs> like it's just, it's infuriating to see people act like that. Oh yes, this is actually, I feel like our deck is fantastic. And I don't actually think we should be losing right now. Um, because we obviously should never lose. However, that being said, um, we have 11 of 17 lands out of our deck right now, so... Uh, 
Um, okay, but I mean, it's more like they're serving you vegan bacon because they're still not. I mean, vegan is you're going to a vegan ra- restaurant, which is a Blizzard convention, right? So it's a vegan. The vegan implies Blizzard, right? So you're like a Blizzard thing, and then they serve you something that's not Blizzard, which would be bacon. But they are serving you something that's Blizzard. It's something that's very Blizzard. It's it's more like they serve you something. It's more like they served you vegetarian bacon, and said, "Hey, your meal is on the way. It's being cooked." And you're just like, no, I want it right now, right this second, at this at this particular time. It just doesn't make sense. Okay. Yep. Six, seven, nine, ten, twelve lands. <sighs> Oh, Villy, to not draw. And they can just counter whatever spell we play next. I mean, we're not dead, right? Like, we can actually bounce this guy. It's not great, but... Right, like the whole analogy is funny because it implies like it implies like you're going somewhere to get in a very specific thing, and when you don't get that very specific thing of your choosing, mind you, you're looking for a very specific thing of your choice. And when you don't get the very specific thing of your choice, you get upset. And that's weird because they didn't say that they were gonna give you. A vegan restaurant implies you're getting a very specific thing. It's like going into a regular restaurant and them serving you hamburger and you getting pissed because you wanted a chicken sandwich. But, like, they don't owe you a chicken sandwich. I agree. It is about managing expectations. But that being said... Uh, I don't think the expectations that, that were had are anywhere near reasonable. And, um... What, well, what money have you been giving them in between D3 and now, right? Like, it's not like you're constantly giving them a monthly payment for Diablo 3. They provided you a product, which was D3. You either liked it or you didn't like it. But this was six years ago. D3 came out six years ago. So, like, I mean, if you're still here now, if, if you still enjoy Hearthstone, what's the problem then? There was a Hearthstone expansion that came out. It looked cool. Like, I mean... Yeah, we're just dead. All right. We tried. Oh, that would have been better. All right. Well, that was sad. Let's... Uh, Where's the pepper hat? It's right next to me. I want to take the Gilded Lotus out. I think it might be too greedy. Actually, I'm going to take Storm Tide Leviathan out. Oh, I'm also going to take the Quicksilver Amulet out because that thing sucks. I really don't. <laughs> I definitely don't think Blizzard, the creators of Overwatch, Hearthstone, and World of Warcraft, are out of touch. I think that's a pretty ridiculous statement from a consumer that wants to uh, feel like he has a little bit better grasp on the video game industry than Blizzard does. That seems a l that that statement seems out of touch. that open there that's weird I don't know yeah I, I don't know what this post is I 
Oh yeah, see Diablo. Yeah, out of, maybe maybe out of touch with the Diablo audience of the West. I don't know though. Like I don't think Diablo isn't like one of their bigger properties. Like I'm pretty sure it goes Overwatch, World of or it goes Warcraft, Overwatch, Hearthstone, and then probably Diablo. I mean, I don't know, man. Like regardless, even if they are out of touch, like it just doesn't seem like that's okay. Sure, they're out of touch. Let's all let's for, let's play devil's advocate. Is that worthy of the ridiculous backlash they got? No, not really. I mean, I started gaming way back in the day. Fitz, have a good afternoon, buddy. You don't have any affiliate links for online energy shops. I'm planning on pre-ordering some UMA. I would love to. Oh, that would be awesome, but no, I don't actually currently. I wonder if, if anyone wants to give me some affiliate links. That would be cool. How else would we make our voices hurt? You think com if you think complaining and literally making a company feel like shit is the only way to make your voice heard? That's sad. That is a communication breakdown, my friend. Kerwood, I actually didn't know you invented video games. That's pretty sick, man. Congratulations, buddy. I'm just gonna play this guy. There's no pressure out here. Next time we can go Yeva and Skin Shifter. Ooh. Oh, I would love to talk about Sweet Tomatoes' new seasonal specials. The problem is if they play something here, we don't really have any... Oh, all right, well. I don't know what's going on right now, but... See, it's funny you say it was foreseeable. I didn't foresee it at all. I just like, oh, cool, Diablo on mobile. That's cool. Because I accept the fact that just because it's not, like, Diablo 4 isn't being announced there, that doesn't mean it's not being announced at all. Like, that's what I don't understand. Like, the game's not fucking ready. Just, that's the bottom line. Like, you got something different, not something to replace it. So, like, I don't know, man. It's just like, good lord. Bok choy citrus slaw. Cranberry. Oh, cranberry apple cobbler seems like gas. I am all about that, my friend. I hope you don't have a shock. Games take time, man. Let the people make their friggin' games. feeling that was gonna happen but the alternative is just never activating it because we just can't i guess that might be better who knows who knows what's better magic's hard i read i literally said i didn't i read your comment back i said oh you invented video games wow that's impressive i don't know i, I meant to say that i said it in my head Uh, yeah, that's unfortunate, but fine. Yeah, Sweet Tomatoes is gas. It's not just Florida. Actually, I went to one, there was one in Portland, Oregon. Uh, actually, it was in, it was in Southern Washington, uh, right before you get to Portland, Oregon. Oh, is this green creatures? Oh, that's sad. Well, I would have played that last turn had I known. I, who, who even knows how this guy works? 
Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Definitely killing this now. Oh, it was a two-parter. Hold on. It was 1952 and my radiola had just broken, so I took a mongoose and an extension cord and the rest was... Wow, that is amazing. See, I would have never had that kind of ingenuity. So here's the thing. Um, I get when people talk about managing expectations when it comes to like things like cancer treatments or uh, the, the lifespan of your elderly relatives, right? Um, if you're having a really hard time managing your expectations and you're a friggin' video game fan, like a Diablo 3 fan, and you're sitting in a theater and you're like, I don't know what the next, I, I need my, I need my childish expectations managed, managed for Diablo. Um, I don't have any sympathy for you. And I actually think you're pretty pathetic. That's really, really what it comes down to. Like, I understand getting upset and being like, dang, man, I really wish there was a Diablo 4 announcement. But it'll come out eventually because I'm an adult and I realize that. Um, as opposed to what actually happened. And that's kind of ridiculous. I mean, talking about managing expectations is fine when it comes to, like, chemotherapy. Or, you know, how, how much your cancer is going to spread. Or, you know, um, whether you're going to get into this college or get this job. I really want to manage my expectations because I know there's a lot of other qualified candidates for this job. So if we're sitting here talking about like managing expectations for a Diablo release, that stuff falls on you, not Blizzard, man. Like you probably just want to, you probably want to lower your expectations to begin with. TF you talking about. Okay, well. <laughs> good times, good times. Right. Good times. Oh my god, these comparisons that like you you're entitled to like a Diablo 4 like preview because you went to BlizzCon or just so insane. And like when people say something like that, like it, it really clues me in on why there was such disappointment because again, it's literally you having unreal expectations. Like I went like D Diablo Di BlizzCon is the, st did you even go? Did you even go to BlizzCon? Did you pay the BlizzCon prices? Or is this just like, I guess I misunderstand the point then. I'm expecting the next iteration of the IP to not be a reskin. Okay, so how would they ever make the game then? If they ever wanted to do Diablo Immortal for mobile... You're literally saying they could never make it. Your statement is that they would literally never make another this this version of the game that they want to they want to introduce because it will always be the next announcement at some point. So basically your response is if you ever release this, if this is ever the next iteration of the game, I'm not happy. Brilliant. I'm sure that's 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 perfectly reasonable. Don't announce it at the biggest PC game convention that company has, but it's not a PC game. It's not a PC game convention. It's literally BlizzCon, uh, and Hearthstone is not. It's like it's it's mostly a, a mobile game. So I don't even like like you're 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 ascribing your own beliefs of what you think BlizzCon is or what you want BlizzCon to be to BlizzCon. Like it just doesn't make any sense. Why would they not announce their new game at the convention they created to announce? That? Exactly. I, that's what I don't understand. Like, don't announce it there at all. Don't announce anything. Like, okay, well, I guess they could do that, but 
that seems pretty dumb. Plus, now it's the Hello World of the Day after the announcement. This is not the next iteration of the IP that I wanted. Oh, why? I don't understand. We just gave you Diablo 4. Can't we also do this? No. All right, well. Why would you stop caring about Diablo 4, though? Like, I don't understand why, like, why a different iteration of a property that you have, that, 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 that's available would make you care less about that property. That doesn't make any sense to me. That's just such a weird outlook. Yeah, this Grave Titan's a real problem. Taylor needed to announce prior that one of the Diablo projects was going to be a mobile game or announce it alongside something these people are expecting. Yeah, and I'm just saying that that's sad that they have to do that because that's pretty pathetic. Yikes. Um, I don't foresee Rabbit Bite actually doing any. Actually, Rabbit Bite's pretty good if we can. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Blizzard has no problem with people wanting to spend their money on them. Like, I don't, I don't really see that as a problem. Just because they didn't come out with a Diablo Four preview, I don't think people have stopped wanting to spend money. Whose effort could have gone towards the do you, if if anyone thinks that the same development houses are making the mobile game and Diablo 4, you know nothing about the game industry and it's almost comical. That is my one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. We can make this guy a four four. I think we're just actually making it a I wish this was Genesis Hydra. <laughs> do we just bounce this guy? I have to replay it. I don't foresee us playing uh Maybe if you actually went to BlizzCon, you don't understand. Yeah. I sh definitely should have went this year. Oh, okay, sure, sure, sure. But I mean like that's that's just also sad, right? Like Well, John, to be fair, you're also a reasonable human being. So, you know, that makes sense. <laughs> me and my mods will just call you entitled sure got me Uh, the only reason I didn't want to play the guy on their turn is because uh, I'm in the middle of this discussion here, so, you know. This actually puts us in a much better position if they don't have any kind of removal. Oh. 
is basically like having a nuclear bomb drop on you and sitting there thinking you're a butterfly while Zeus hands you a Rolex, but Zeus actually wanted to give the Rolex to his cousin. That sounds... Yeah, that sounds pretty accurate. I think they just died of Primeval Hydra if they don't have an answer, right? That's insane. Yeah, I actually never ban... I rarely ban people unless you're literally just being insulting or... All right. Well, 2-1. That was pretty sweet. I don't think we even played a full match, did we? Did we even, like... We just played one game, right? Did we play a first game? I don't know how this game works. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm not leaving if you're watching Twitch. I'm just ending the YouTube video. So check me out on Twitch or Patreon if you're watching on YouTube. Links are in the description below. You can also check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. It is a great way to get some super, super soft micromodal underwear, onesies, lounge pants, socks, tees, whatever you want. With my affiliate link, you will get 15% off and free shipping and free returns. And it's a great way to support the stream. So please do that if you're interested. And uh, thank you guys. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you guys next time.